All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our first deck in our long 12-hour birthday stream today uh, for uh, Esper taking turns. I know this deck's a little controversial because um, not everybody likes uh, just taking all the turns in the game. Um, Next of Fate has certainly... Um... Oh, thanks, Ari. Thank you so much. Um, Nexus of Fate is, you know, a little controversial. Um, but that's kind of like with Wilderness Reclamation. Wilderness Reclamation makes Nexus of Fate uh, so easy to play and everything. So we're, we're really working for it. We're not going Wilderness Reclamation. And also, not only we're we going Nexus, we're going Karn's Temporal Sundering, which costs six mana for an extra turn. Plus, you have to have a Planeswalker in play uh, when you cast it. And we're playing a Planeswalker deck card with Dovin Architect of Law. So, got a lot of, a lot of neat things about the deck. Um, so here we go, Esper taking turns. And we're playing Kaya. Nope, where is it at? There it is. And so, I already have six decks lined up so far for today. Um, we'll see if we have time for more, uh, which I would think so. You know, like that's only, that's like two hours per deck. So, we're probably not going to be going there. So, we'll, we'll probably have time for at least one, maybe two more decks. Um, but we'll kind of see what we want to play by then. Thanks, Clem and Skero. Thank you. Ooh, we're going first. I think we're going to have to mulligan this. All right, we can keep this. Thanks, Vices. And bottom. So I have four Moment of Cravings in the deck. You know, just playing the deck, you know, like the more I play the deck, like, struggled with the aggro decks, mostly. And so that's why I've added in the two Moment of Cravings in the main deck. Um... I'm going to take Wild Growth Walker. That card's just going to be pretty big. I mean, I guess I could take Branch Walker right now, and then next turn take Jade Light. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we could have just taken Jade Light and Hydrate Crisis. I am now, I am now 33. Should have taken the Jade Light first. I guess I should have put in Goblet Shrine this last turn instead of Watery Grave. So if we draw, um, all right, it doesn't matter. So say if we draw wrath, we don't have to um, shock for that. All right, yeah, just killing the two things. Um, not letting them have like a, a bigger Hydroid Crisis. All right, let's draw Planeswalker. Planeswalker. Thanks, Missy Elliot. Not the best Planeswalker to draw. Not the best one here at all. Okay, that's a good draw. Yeah, 
Yeah, because the problem is if I play Dovin, then I like minus and make a 1 1, but then I can't keep Dovin from dying to the Hydroid Crisis Trample. Oh, I don't have three white sources. I shouldn't have transformed. I was thinking I could transform and then play Dovin. You know, I just counted just counted the mana, but then looked at looked at it right afterwards and realized I don't have the three white sources. All right, so Folly gets back Krasis. Yeah, so I shouldn't have transformed the Ascanta. Well, I don't know. Maybe transforming Ascanta is just right though, because if they draw a disenchant effect, draw like a Vivian, and kill my my Krasis, I'm I'm in trouble. Yeah, that squid's pretty good. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your mistake. Taking Dovin over to Fairy because Dovin can tap the Hydroid Crisis where to Fairy um to Fairy tucks it and then they get to draw a bunch more cards again. Hey Jerry. Dovin's been okay. I, I wish Dovin cost five mana a lot of the time, but six is fine. But uh especially with Karn's Temporal Sundering that costs six mana, I wish it would cost Five mana. And we were doing okay until our opponent's casting four crises. It's kind of a lot of crises. Alright, so my first Thought Erasure, I think I, I traded a little too much one for one. I should have just waited on the first Kai's Wrath. Um, should have taken Jade Light and Krasis instead of Branch Walker. Yeah, could have done that a little better. Um, so they're playing Little Vraska and Vivian. Playing a lot of things. Hmm. Thanks, thanks, like a Zoe. Um, whoops, I don't know if I have if Jos no no Josu Vess in the deck. There's creeping chills. I'm going to put in a couple duresses over the Moment of Cravings and keep it like this. Hey, Wolfmaster. Thanks for that sub for the third month. Thank you so much, Wolfmaster. First sub of the day. Yeah, we're going to play some mono black zombies uh, in a little bit after Jeskai Legends. It was a, a, viewer, a viewer submitted deck that they said they've been doing uh, pretty well with it. So, um, I decided to give it a try. Yeah, zombies.
Here's the list. You can put it here in chat for y'all. Thanks to Carter. Yeah, we are on early. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes and for that sub for the third month. Thanks, PPU. All right, and that now it's telling me bumps up. 50 there and two here. What happened to our opponent? What's going on over here? Yeah, I'm going to play the one. Yep, I'm going to play Jody Keith's deck for Rakdos midrange. The great Jody Keith winning Grand Prix Memphis this weekend. So I'm going to play his deck. I mean, our, our opponent's cards are highlighted, so I think they're there. I don't think... Yeah, I think they're there. Our opponent's cards are, like, being highlighted and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Wow, they just don't even want to keep the negate. It's like, it's got to be like one of their very best cards in the matchup. And don't even want to keep it. Ah, uh, stuck on lands. I see. Might as well cast this thing. See if it gets negated. No. Keep the pressure off of us, where we can just hit land drops and everything. Thanks, Gatsby. No Alright, let's draw a land. Let's we'll get hold. Temporal Sundering. Oh, that got my blood pumping. Alright, bounce the land war elf. Take another turn. This is no mere trinket. Take another turn. This tech gimmick is worth it. Take another turn. Thanks, Penumbra. Gonna go ahead and ultimate Dovin. I was confident this would work. Before something Again, happens to it. I am proven right. Alright, so Teferi, Nexus, and Temporal Sundering. Um one, two, three, four, five. Hey, get Gatsby, thanks for the the birthday wishes, and Chef as well, and Carson. Yeah, did the game just crash right here? Okay, there we go. What is going on? Hey, Joe Bags. What is what is going on? Oh, Deckmaster, thanks. I forgot to get Deckmaster up.
All right, Deckmaster should be up. All right, restarting client. Yeah, it looks like we got disconnected. I don't know Hawkeye's exact birthday. Thank me later. Okay. We reconnected. Everything's good. Um, hope opponent doesn't have Vras's contempt here. Ah, looks like they do. This is hardly my worst defeat. So we got them, we're attacking them down to nine now. We have a huge man advantage on them. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I already made up a birthday for Hawkeye for like the vet and everything. Um, I'll have to check like my vet paper, see exactly when it is. No, a 2-2 flyer. All right, we got the the knockoff to fairy there with Dovin. Instead of instead of drawing a card and and untapping two lands, we draw a card and gain two life. Yeah, on early today we have a 12-hour stream. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, no time for a break. Yeah, we got a 12 hour stream today. So, un unfortunately, our opponent gets to play Vivian and kill my search for Escanta. Um, but I think that's better than giving them. Negate, I think. Would you like to see what's left of stun? Draw and fire. Hold that thought. All right, so I'll take another turn and I'll bounce the Vivian. And now we'll just thought erasure away the Vivian. I'll take put the dress over here. And we're just kind of clearing our our library of things that are not Nexus of Fate right now. Hurry! That's a good draw. All right. So it looks like we're going to be going to a game three. But this is this is certainly a tough matchup to win when they have all these duresses and negates and planeswalkers and and everything. Yeah, that is weird, right? That the second Jade Light isn't showing in the opponent's hand. It's 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 kind of acting a little weird right now. It is getting real jumpy. You know, we were just disconnected a little bit ago. You know what? I'm not done yet. Um I can activate this and cast Nexus. And there we go. All right, so third game, game three, 
Um, is the stream lagging too? I it, over here it tells me that the stream is excellent right now. That may have just been the game lagging like that for you. Arena's been doing pretty good for us the last couple of days, but not not today, though. All right, let's get a Moment of Craving and a Negate in over these three Mana Planeswalkers. Uh, Dovin was pretty good for us, though, that game. But I don't think it will always be that good. Okay, game three. Oh, it's telling me 48 now. Oh, wait. Did I miss some subs? Yeah, we had spam blocker five minutes ago. Huh. Spam, spam blocker's alert didn't come up. So I'm going to make it come up. Thanks, Spam Blocker. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the glasses. Uh, it's, you know, easier on the eyes and everything. Alright, turn two neck or turn two search for Escanta. Keeping this for the search for Escanta. Opponent, of course, has like the creature heavy hand. And I don't have removal this time. Oh, wow, what a hand. That's pretty good. Dress bug. This is the kind of hand that I really wish I had Cry the Carnarium for. But I, I don't have it in. It's in the sideboard. Right, I'm going to go Graveyard here, even though we need another land. Because I want a white source because of... Um, because of Kaya's Wrath. Temporal Sundering is not what I want. So I guess I'm just going to bite the bullet. And... Or like so any any other land I'll I'll take. Alright, so that's a white and that's a white source, that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Until you have Not to make a blocker for like Jade Light. Yeah, Dovin. Dovin's pretty good. It's it's just like whenever you're behind and like it's not you know it doesn't line up very well against tr trample creatures, of course. Um, All right, so Karn did its job. It gained us, gained us six life and took out a two-one. That's worth it. Ugh. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Feel the wrath of Scala. Hmm. That's rough. 
I've seen things that, that was would an awesome hand for the like opponent. You. Just awesome hand. Turn one elf, turn two branch walker plus duress, and then Lanawar, and then Hydroid Crisis, and then Vivian. I took out one Temporal Sundering, so I cut down on our top end a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we got stuck with it. They had the answers to our Escantas. Kaya's Wrath. I'm gonna need it. Really hope they don't have another a negate as well. Ugh. No. So that's why it's it's tough to sideboard there because there's games like that where I'm like, okay, well I need all my moment I need my moment of cravings in my deck because you know, that kind of stuff can happen. Um, all right, let's do this reset here uh, for how that was acting up. Um, and it's so, like there's times like that where I want Moment of Craving or even Cry of the Carnarium, you know, like. But then there's other times where I, I have, like, the Moment of Cravings in against them, and they just have all their, like, duresses, negates, and planeswalkers, and I'm just sitting with the removal stuck in my hand that doesn't do anything. Um, so it's, it's tough. Um, you have to have, you have to have your half of the deck line up against their half of the deck kind of thing. Or just having Kai's Wrath, you know, playing that matchup without drawing a Kai's Wrath is really hard. I guess Zerf calls this deck Historic Chess Guy. <laughs> Thanks, Jojen. And opponent's not very opponent's hand is not very good. We get to see Kaya do something cool here. Exile a creature. Next turn. Let's get those out of the way. <laughs> this will be child's play. Good job, Kaya. Oh, poor opponent. I'll get rid of these. I think I'll get rid of these. Yep, I'm 21 again. Ah, Beanhead. Thank you. Pack your bags and hit the road. Jade Light. We got some we got some removal for that. So all we really need to do is draw one land and get Teferi going and then we're good to go. Want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. Honey, that's what I do. If you keep up the pace. Uh, resolve this. Cast down that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see later for the what's my age again. Poor opponent. They're not going to take another turn. Hold that thought. I hope you said your goodbyes already. All right, and this, then this is what our deck does. Um, it's good to cast Nexuses first because you want to shuffle the Nexuses back um, into your library. 
so you have a better chance of drawing them again. Thanks, Magic Carry. So actually, I'm just going to shock here and play this. So I have... Um, Hurry! You know, so I can potentially draw it. You want something vanished? Funny, that's what I do. We need to move quickly. All right, so it looks like we got temporal sundering. Bounce that. <laughs> Bye. And then we'll go ahead and Um, let's go to Nexus. No time for a break. I hope you've said your goodbyes already. All right, and now I will ultimate. You are removed. We don't get to take another turn. Itself. Yeah, Kaya is kind of weak. You know um, what? I'm not done yet. She, she can only do, she can't do a whole lot. Like she's she's pr pretty limited. But against the the top of the meta game, she's not so bad. Like against uh, Sultai, you know, you get to get get rid of their creatures uh, from the graveyard, so they can't find finality them back. Um, and. Um, or kill like. Um, Let's skip to the good part. Um, or you can kill Animal Elf. And it's Mono Blue. You know you get to exile. Um, like basically all their creatures. Hey Cold War, I for Orzok tokens. I, I don't or an Orzov tokens. I don't have an Orzov tokens deck um i do not um you can find all of my decks here on stream decker if you want to kind of browse um kaya's pretty good against um is it drakes again terramander or getting rid of cards for to make enigma drake smaller um, against like the turbo fog decks, getting rid of their graveyard so they can't flip Sorceress Kanta is honestly really good. Um, it's actually so it's actually really good against the turbo fog decks and fighting Sorceress Kanta. Um, really like it there because like the the Simic Nexus deck if they're not if they're not flipping Sorceress Kanta, it makes it a lot tougher for them. Yeah, I same. I agree, Clem. It would have been nice to have some kind of afterlife thing to go with Kaya though. That would have been. That would have been nice. Um, I'm gonna take out two temporal sunderings, the Dovin, and maybe another temporal sundering. Yeah. It's true they don't have flyers, but they don't really have very good cards for me to get with Thief. Um, and with me putting in Cry of the Carnarium and having a bunch of Wraths, I'm not sure if I really want Thief. So we need black mana. So it's a risky keep not having black mana, but we're up a game, so we can kind of keep the risky hand. Our, our hand is definitely good if we get the black mana with Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure moment and Kaya's Wrath. Opponent's hand, not so good again. The same kind of hand they had last time. Thanks, give a little hug. And we're just waiting to Wrath next turn.
Resolve all. And we found the black mana. Keep up the pace. Poor opponent. Feel bad for him. Their hands have not been very good, and we've just kind of slaughtered him. Whenever they draw a card, each opponent mills two. Hold that thought. I think that's going to be okay. We are a Nexus of Fate deck overall, or um, after all. So that's just gonna mill us towards Nexus of Fates. Um, so that's good for us. <laughs> it's honestly good for us. Casting Thought Erasure there, even though I, I would get to Surveil 1 because we were milling 2, the value of Surveil 1 is kind of nothing. Um, let's stick you up first. You may regret that choice. And I'll go ahead and surveil one before we draw. With Teferi. Just looking for nexuses. We need to move quickly. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. Nexus play Psychic Corrosion. Let's skip to the good part. I should have thought of Raiden first. So, Wrathing here because uh, we get to just ultimate Teferi the next turn. There's a Nexus, finally. I will fade I'm one mana short of playing to Fairy and a Nexus. I'm just gonna Nexus. Put that back. And one mana short now of Teferi plus Temporal Sundering. No longer stand by and watch. Okay. Teferi's a mean card. Teferi's a jerk. Playing the red horse. Some connection issues today. Is this like a connection thing right now? Oh, sorry. I I missed your question there. Earlier numbers. 
I bring in Thief of Sanity against uh, Control decks and Nexus decks. Um, that's why I'm bringing in Thief of Sanity. Alright, we're on the draw. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. We need lands, but we're a 26 land deck. Um, so hopefully be okay. Uh, you know, the very worst, I get Thought Erasure on turn 3, where I can surveil to help the draw step a little bit. So... Any on tap land, except for our basic planes, to be able to cast Thought Erasure next turn. The red horse is playing green white. Green white blue. But they're a red horse. Looks like we're playing against Turbo Fog here. Or Simic Nexus, I guess that's the name. Or Bant Nexus, I guess they're white, so Bant Nexus. We did not find a land. Okay, it's definitely not Nexus. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm taking Deputy. I'll keep the land. Yeah, Summary Judgment and Seal Away. The opponent has two dead cards in hand. Uh, that card's kind of good. Let's kill that thing. I don't want that thing making a bunch of 1-1s. One I know we don't get to Surveil to look for a fourth land by killing that thing, but I think that's the safest. Until you have lived as a statue, you have Thanks, Wales. an excellent choice. Yeah, I, I understand it. not standing Nexus decks. I understand that. Um, so I, I was playing this one first uh, when there's the least amount of people watching. I know, I know some people can't stand Nexus decks. Um, Choice. At least this Nexus deck, we're, we're really working for it. You know, we're not playing Wilderness Reclamation. Um, and we're Temporal Centering also. So we're, we're really working for it. I have no time for a break. So our opponent's going to get another turn... So this is probably their last turn. If they if they find I was gonna say if they found the white source and cast Azor, I, then I guess I don't get to don't get to cast the incinder sorcery. Okay. Well they conceded. Yeah, Worldness Reclamation is a card that I have more of a problem with than Nexus. Myself. Our opponent's like a Bant control deck. I'm going to just kind of take out a, a good amount of removal. They didn't seem to have uh, very many creatures, but they had a couple. So I'm going to keep in, in two Kai's Wrath, one cast down. Um, and just bring in duresses and negates here. I'll play a thief over this Kaya. Let's go two thief, three negate. Yeah, that looks better. Thanks, Sam. Oh, you're welcome, Lord Boswell. And thanks, Vengeance Life. 
We got a lot of uh, fun decks up after after Nexus here. Um, as you can see by the left hand side, we even have mono black zombies later. Playing Wrath Compassion in our historic Jeskai deck up next. Got a donation deck for that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this binding. Cognitive Perception is kind of annoying, but they don't have any blue mana yet. Well, there you go. What's the most fun deck at the moment? Yeah, actual mono black. I will fight with the choices we make um, reveal who we are. I really like the Naya Legends deck we finished up the stream with yesterday. That's probably my favorite deck to play. Um... But I've been, but with that being said, I've been having Not every fight good amount of su success with this deck me. and been enjoying it as well. Um, I won't hide from the world any look not so fast. Um, Return. let's put another Teferi in my hand just in case. Just in case something happens. All right, and it's Nexus time. You know what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'll make use of that laser. So many Teferis. We'll see if... Uh, see if our opponent has a counter spell here. They do not. That looks pretty bad for them. So shuffle the Nexus's back that thought. before we activate these things. Good choice. Hey, Gatsby! With a deck donation, how about some Nikia Zakama Jank Fun? Your call on build. My inner Timmy needs to see a big Stompy smash. All right, I can do that. Um, all right, I can add that to the, the list of decks today. You know what? I'm not done yet. Um, so playing Thief of Sanity here uh, because we still get to cast choice. Nexus, but we, we do just have to cast it at end step. All right, so Naya Creatures. Is there is there a time... Um, Gatsby, any of these like that I should fit it in? Like, do you want me to put it at the end of the stream? Do you want me to do it before any of these? You want me to like, you know, do you want me to do it like after Mono Black, after Zombies, or after Rakdos, or after Grixis? Looks like the opponent's probably going to get the next turn. Anytime. Hurry. All right, let's do it.
after between Rakdos and Grixis, because Rakdos and Grixis are both red black decks. So let's split those up. So we're gonna have Naya Naya creatures. Alright, two and one. Yeah, we'll split up the red black decks. That's good. Maybe monsters? Now I have monsters. One thing about our deck is our curve is really high with playing. Um, you know, five, six mana spells and four, seven mana spells. We have quite the curve. Same with Grixis Legends, we're gonna have to update that deck. I haven't updated it since um, since RNA came out. Came out. Um, I know we'll have Judith to add to the deck. I'm not sure if we'll have too much else to add to the deck. Dang, JRC, it kicked you out. Yeah, we're we're playing. Other, you know, Planeswalker deck Dovin. Don't counter my stuff. That one's rude. Get to flip as Kanta here. Oh, they did not flip it. Their hand was a lot better than ours. <laughs> ours have wait till turn five and play Teferi. It was not very good. But they had all this stuff. No, I need my Dovin. Well, this will get a lot better for us after sideboarding. play Thran Temporal Gateway in your like so wait Gatsby do you have do you have a Zakama deck do you want me to to go off of or do you want me to to make my own all right so we've got all those duresses negates and thief of sanity so that will so certainly help out cast down moment of craving and Kaya's wrath coming on out um I could play like cry for like the tokens um but I feel like I'm just gonna not worry about, not worry about tokens from Dawn of Hope. Not gonna worry about it too much. If Dawn of Hope gets us, then Dawn of Hope gets us. And oh well. Hopefully we are able to cast Thought Erasure on turn two. Nope. 
I expect this to get negated. Yeah. That's fine. Let's hit some land drops here. Come on, deck. Get us some lands. So we're taking up all their counter spells. That is bad, though. That one is bad. Hmm. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. I'm really good at banishing things. So Kaya's really good against Chemister's Insight, uh, which is kind of the big reason why I wanted to play it here, because if our opponent's sitting on Chemister's Insight, um, it's pretty good there against that. Makes them... Um, makes them, like, play it in and... Uh, Yeah, makes them play it and uh, twice with the Wilderness Reclamation. The, reclama the Reclamation is just so much mana that it's just c gonna be kind of tough for us from here. All right, I'm gonna keep Teferi. Don't you hate it when the dead won't stay dead? Alright, so we get to... We'd have Teferi tuck the Dawn of Hope next turn, and then Teferi dies. Um, and then we play new Teferi. Thankfully the opponent just has two dead cards in hand. Hopefully they draw like a, a couple lands here or, or something. That one actually got through. Mm -hmm. We got a birthday hat. I haven't put it on yet, but we got a birthday hat. Thanks, Hazy. Wilderness Reclamation is just so much mana. I'm That's the for problem now, card. Not but Nexus. not forever. But I went I went into this saying that if Dawn of Hope got me, then Dawn of Hope would get me, and it sure looks like that's gonna be the case. Draw another counter spell. Wow. Uh, constructed. Infinity. Um. Dang. All right. Two and two. Yep. 
Yeah, they just had had really good hands both games, especially that second one. They just countered everything. They had they had counter for our our thought erasure, counter for our thought erasure, and then they play wilderness reclamation. They let Kaya resolve, and then they countered everything else. So the only only card that we didn't get countered was Kaya. Um, I guess one thought erasure resolved after Kaya, but it just took a counter. So. Wilderness Reclamation, really good. Um, so, there we go. That was us for taking turns. Um, if you like taking lots and lots of turns, uh, you know, give that deck a try. Um, yeah, that was Dovin Architect of Law. I wish this wish this card cost five. I think it would actually be, you know. It'd be better if it cost five, but I think it's kind of playable at six. I even have it over Tezzeret. I like it more than Tezzeret. Um, the only the only reason why I like like the the big thing that Tezzeret has going for it that Dovin doesn't is that with Tezzeret costing five, you get to play Tezzeret into Karn's Temporal Sundering. Uh, that curve is a lot better than Dovin into Temporal Sundering. But. So there we go. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.